Technetium is amazingly not alloyed with steel. Technetium is not used for what many of the transition metals are, what most transition metals are used for. This is because technetium is radioactive. This may be weird as its atomic number is only 43. It is, technetium is, the first element where all of its isotopes are radioactive. At least all of its known isotopes are radioactive. Um, I do not know why technetium with 43 protons is suddenly unstable because we have a, there are 11 more elements after technetium before the next radioactive element and then even after that there are more elements after that that are stable so or that have stable isotopes so I don't know why the there this particular number of protons is extremely unstable um, and I don't think anyone truly 100% knows why, but there's a lot of st speculation somehow about the shape of it, maybe makes the radius larger so that the strong force can't act as much, but no one really knows, as far as I know. Because it is radioactive, technetium can't really be used for a lot of the normal things that transition metals are used for, because there is very little of it in the environment, um, and it can't be mined or anything because it's all decayed away into other things. Technetium is pretty much only created synthetically in nuclear reactors. Um, there is a certain isotope of technetium, te technetium 99M, which is used in medicine because it, it will pass through the body very quickly and it will emit gamma rays um, at a wavelength that many detectors can detect, and therefore are you, it's used in many bone scans and things like that. Um, you may be wondering um, what the M is in technetium 99M, and I'm first going to explain what the 99 is. The 99 is its atomic mass. Um, the atomic mass is simply all of the, pro the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So an isotope is, is um, an element that, or two different isotopes are two different um, things that are the same element because el the number of protons dictates what element it is, but they have different numbers of neutrons. So all that's different about them is they have different masses. Now, the, so the, so the 99 in technetium 99 is the number of protons in technetium 99 plus the number of neutrons. The M it, um, stands for metastable isomer, and what this means is if you think about just normal technetium 99 with protons and neutrons in the nucleus, you could have different configurations and different quantum energy levels of, of those same protons and neutrons, same number of protons and neutrons. Now typically quantum, a higher quantum energy level means uh, less stability, but in some cases, for reasons that I don't truly understand and that I don't think anyone fully understands, um, sometimes it actually makes it more stable and that it can actually increase the half-life, the time in which, a ham in which half of a sample will decay away into something else, um, by a f maybe even a thousand fold. So if, if some uh, nu um, nuclear isomer of an isotope has a half-life of about a, th a thousand times longer than the normal version, the, the version with the lowest quantum energy level, then it's considered a metastable isomer and it will be, ha will, it will have an M in front of it. So technetium 99M is a metastable isomer of normal technetium 99, which is in fact the only isotope of technetium that is found in any amounts whatsoever in nature. Um, the longest lived half-life, uh, or the, the technetium isotope with the longest half-life is technetium 98, um, but it is not found in nature. It has a half-life of, of about 4 times 10 to the 6th power years. Um, that's, that's, you know, on the order of a million years. So that actually is quite a long time. And it is so long that act that small amounts of visible amounts of technetium have actually been synthetically produced. And if you want, you can go to, for example, Wikipedia, or just do a web search for technetium to see pictures of technetium. 
Not surprisingly, it looks like many other transition metals, shiny and silvery. Recently, some experiments have been conducted um, with, ex with high safety measures because of the radiation of technetium with some fairly stable technetium isotopes. Um, and it turns out, not surprisingly, that technetium's chemistry is quite a bit like the element above it, uh, manganese, and the element below it, rhenium. So, aside from its unusual nuclear properties, its chemical properties are pretty similar. Um, but it's very expensive to make, obviously, because you need a nuclear reactor to make it, so it's not used alloyed in steel or anything like that. 